The problem for me is that when I make good eye contact and I'm really locked in on the other person's eyes, I get this weird sense of vertigo and it's hard for me to break my gaze. It makes me very uncomfortable. So my question is, how can I improve my eye contact without feeling awkward? We decided to do an experiment in my house. This is a machine that tracks everything that I look at. See, look. Now I'm about to meet somebody for the first time. Will I be able to make eye contact or will I fail? Matt, please come into my workshop. Hey. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The person I was trying to look at here is Matt Peterson, a neuroscience PhD who specializes in facial recognition and eye movements, things I am not good at. Now we're gonna review the footage of my eye movements when Matt and I first met. So let's go ahead and look at this and see, here I come up. Oh, yeah, so you, so you kind of went to my shoulders and then up right around my I mouth. I couldn't get that. It. Well, I mean. Wait, why did I look at that? It's almost like you avoided almost my face altogether. Oh, there you are. Yeah. You know why I'm looking at you now? Why? Now we're having uh, a conversation. Yeah, yeah. Boom, eyes, mouth, I'm all yeah. over you. You're making the classic, what is called the T pattern a lot. People, when they're engaging with somebody, is they go from eye to eye, and then sometimes they'll go down to the mouth. On average, usually where people look is where most people don't expect, actually. So most people think that they look directly at the eyes or the mouth, for instance. Are you telling me that's not where they're supposed to look? That's what I'm telling you. Thank you, Jesus. I don't need to make eye contact. I'm liberated. I don't have to be polite. Where do they look? The first place they look is towards the middle of the face and actually a little bit down below the eyes, about halfway between the eyes and the nose tip. Seems kind of a weird place because there's nothing really there. I mean, on me, of course, I have a computer right there. But right. on you, you don't have I don't have there. I know why, because people hate making eye contact. That's one hypothesis. I think my issue with eye contact sometimes was I was like, make a good eye contact. Use both your eyes to look at both of their eyes. And right. then I would have that feeling like, oh my God, I'm falling into his dreamy blue eyes. Why do I get freaked out when I look into somebody's eyes and I feel like I can't break away? For that, I mean, I would basically have to go into uh, speculation. Right, this is a safe space for this speculation. This is a safe space for speculation. Yeah. It might be that, for instance, your amygdala might be slightly overactive. The amygdala is a small cluster of neurons deep in your brain that's basically like the emotional center of your brain. And here's what's interesting. Direct eye contact stimulates the amygdala. This is one of the reasons why eye contact can be so emotionally heavy, whether it's feelings of intimacy or feelings of like threat. I find the act of meeting someone itself kind of overstimulating. Essentially, the brain structures which are usually responsible for drawing people's attention to the eyes are now causing some form of anxiety in you. Yeah. Um, which are now driving your eye movements downward. Okay, so to all the haters out there, it's not that I'm a jerk, I just may have a hyperactive amygdala. How can I get better at that? Because I want to be like this. It's great to meet you, I'm David Reese. And when we print out the data, I'm like, you can't say I was an I nailed my eye contact. I nailed my heart rate. I nailed my am amygdala. I don't know if you have a dog or have had dogs. Uh, no, I do not cohabitate with animals. Well, if you did, what, what you would notice is that they make great eye contact. They, really? Yeah. They, look at, they look up at the face and they can recognize faces very well, human faces. I'm going to practice eye contact with a, a dog. dog. There it is. So I borrowed my friend's dog to practice some eye contact. We're trying to do a segment on eye contact. Look in my eyes. That's a burn. <laughs> and I think this dog has a hyperactive amygdala.